I want to talk today about the types of waste in healthcare. Now, you know, sometimes people say lean, oh, it's all about reducing waste. And yeah, I think reducing waste is a good start. Reducing the eight types of waste is a good start. We're also going to talk about value and what that means to patients and the healthcare setting. Now, when I first decided to do the webinar, I, originally I was, I was going to try to do eight stories about eight different types of waste. But as I started kind of pulling together different stories and I realized, it's hard to find a story that's just about one type of waste because it's all very interconnected. One type of waste leads to another. They're both present at the same time. And some types of waste are certainly worse than others. So I'm going to tell some stories from my own work, some stories that you may have heard of out there in um, the healthcare land, telling those stories in the context of lean. And so you know, when we talk about waste, when we identify problems, in the lean methodology. It's honestly not always very uplifting. The problems are the reality of the current state. It's not always pretty, but it is what it is. Now, people listening and attending might be either just interested in lean healthcare. Maybe you want to come in from the outside, and, and I would say, please, please come on in. There's a lot of waste to reduce in healthcare. You might be new to lean as a healthcare professional. You might have been at a hospital that's been using lean for a while. I'm, I'm hoping either way that this webinar is a good introduction or a reminder. I think we need to fix the things that really matter most in healthcare. I think as a lean community, we need to help our leaders understand that lean needs to be first about safety for patients and for healthcare workers and quality and access and waiting times. And with that, cost is a happy end result. And I think we all need to maybe try a little harder uh, myself included, to push back if we're just being asked to cut costs. If we focus on first things first, we'll find that we, 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 we're really going to reach the potential of what lean can do in healthcare across a lot of different dimensions. So we see this number here, $765 billion. Well, that number, of course, represents the amount of wasted healthcare spending in the United States in 2009, according to uh, a recent Institute of Medicine report. And I'll have a link to that report in the notes that are going to be distributed after the presentation. We're burning money, $765 billion a year. And most every country around the world, even though nobody spends as much as the US, everybody is struggling with the idea that we're spending too much, or we don't have enough of a budget, and we need to reduce the waste in healthcare spending. Now to put this big number in context, let's look at an even bigger number of our total US healthcare spending, again, 2009, $2.5 trillion. That's 18% of GDP. We're now spending close to $3 trillion. And the next highest major country to the US is spending about 12% of GDP. So again, this is a problem around the world. Uh, we might not be spending as much as the US, but everyone feels under pressure to reduce and contain costs. Now, the Institute of Medicine says it's easier to identify waste than it is to reduce it, and I think they're, they're absolutely correct. One thing they recommend at a very high level, if you look at their report, is that we need healthcare organizations that are continuously learning and continuously improving. And this report actually cites and recommends lean, and it sounds exactly like lean and the idea of Kaizen or improvement and continuous improvement. We need system redesign, and we need continuous improvement. Now, if you look at the breakdown in the IOM report of that $765 billion, what are the contributors to either setting that money on fire or, or flushing it down the toilet, regardless of how you might want to look at this? With my weird pie chart here, um, we look at the, some of the big contributors. You know, we see things like fraud, mispreventive opportunities, excessive administrative costs. I think the two buckets of waste that are maybe most clearly addressable with lean include the category of what the IOM calls inefficiently delivered services of $130 billion a year. This means um, quality problems. This means inefficiencies in the delivery of care that patients should be receiving. Then there's this even bigger category or bucket that they call unnecessary services, $210 billion of waste. In lean, we would 
probably call this over-processing or over-production. Providing care that doesn't provide any value, that doesn't help the patient. We'll talk about a few examples of those today. So clearly, there are opportunities in healthcare to save money by reducing these different types of waste, which is a different approach than, I think, kind of the, the traditional approach of cost cutting that we see in healthcare, which often leads to, because labor is 60 or 70 percent of cost for a health system, cost cutting often just directly means layoffs. Now, the good news with Lean is that it gives us a fighting chance to improve and redesign processes, to look at things in a new way, to improve the way care is delivered and take waste out of the system instead of just slashing headcount. And I think we need to focus on not just the financial cost of poor quality, inefficiently delivered services and think of some of the, the human cost as well.